Mr. West, welcome back to the world of Otium. Here we are in the beginnings of our Asian area. I'm uh, kind of uh, upset with myself that I haven't made a better start, but we're going to jump on that today. We need to do three things, and uh, four if you include not getting blown up by a creeper first thing we need to do is build a um, tree farm for our spruce trees because this acacia is not going to be our main build palette so I'm speeding up here and we're going to blast through this first we need to remove these trees this little uh, peninsula that sticks out into this little lake level it out The two buildings that we have already, the first, the smelter, is uh, just a rebuild of my aborted idea of uh, this being a different type of base entirely. And the second, the warehouse, is based on a real Asian building. And we're going to complete that, and it will be acacia, because the original is a kind of a red building, and it fits. But the rest of our uh, area is going to have a different build palette entirely, and the main wood wood is going to be spruce, because that fits in with uh, Japanese especially better. Um, so once we get this um, warehouse building completed, we'll settle on our uh, permanent build palette. Now we're just laying out some spruce trees, space them out evenly so they'll all grow. I really uh, I'm really looking forward to making a, a kind of a much better go of my base here at the world of Odium than I have up until now. Um, like I said before, I'm kind of angry with myself because uh, I didn't come up with a better idea to start with. Okay, so we dug out some gravel here before, so the water's a little broken anyway, putting these uh, blocks of um, dirt in will fix the edge of the water as well as giving us a little more surface for our tree farm. And uh, once we get these placed, these should grow without us having to bone meal anything. And I need to thank Aletha Prime for dropping off some spruce wood and these saplings to me. Okay, so here we go. And that should complete it. So our second thing we need to do is to remove the remains of this building. Not just this building, but the whole village. Um, like I said before, well, even if we were building an acacia wood, these buildings would need to go because uh, they don't fit in with uh, really any building style. It'll be interesting to see when uh, 1.14 comes out, the building styles. I suspect that uh, most of the buildings will be pretty simple, even uh, uh, once they have biome-specific building types. Because Mojang has said they want to uh, uh, keep it that way so that the building is done by the player. And I can understand that. There are some mods that uh, create much more interesting buildings for people that uh, want to start out in a more defined real world. But for me, since the building is or building is primarily the goal of the game, um, it works out fine. So this house was our starter house, really. 
so we're going to get rid of it. And uh, in this direction, we are going to build a road and uh, come out with a little bridge over that that lake or the river. I might narrow the lake down and, and just have the river come through. I want the river to remain. We'll have a little bridge over it. So this dark prismarine that we've used around the portal is definitely going to be part of the main build palette. Alright, now we're going to take down this building, which was originally the blacksmith, and uh, we turned it into kind of a covering over our uh, mine. The mine still useful because we're going to need cobblestone and um, we're going to need to make stone bricks because those are both going to be part of the build palette. We are not however going to need a lot of green anything so this uh, cactus farm is really unnecessary. And uh, Let's see. Like I said before, I'm going to take some of my ideas from that I've uh, been developing in on the greenhouse SMP and apply them here, and hopefully um, take some of what I've learned in building those and make the builds here even better. Okay, we're going to leave this one building because, as you can see, that's where all the villagers are. Okay, the third thing today is to uh, get started on completing our warehouse building. We're not going to finish it today, but we are going to add a third story. Uh, it will be, I think, five stories when it's completed. Uh, we'll see after the fourth story if there's going to be a fifth. And we are using cobblestone, which is going to be the main uh, material for these Asian roofs as we do them. Now some of the villagers came out. I really don't need any villagers. I, you know, just don't want them to die unnecessarily. So we have our first rink of stone around. Now we're going to start our second. There will be a total of three. That was something I learned building on um, the greenhouse. I was going two out and that doesn't give you enough um, area to do anything underneath with if you choose to do that. The little pool looks pretty good down there. Once we hit the second ring around it, then we need to work on our corners a bit. And you can see I'm looking down at the bottom to compare. So on this ring, the second ring, we need to raise the three at the corner the very corner piece and then one to either side of it. So there we go, like that. And then remove 
the extra. Now we just need to do that again. Okay, so I put out a video on Wednesday, and this is my Saturday video, which I'm is arriving a little bit late because it's Saturday morning and I'm still finishing it up. But um, after this, there will probably be only one video per week, and uh, that's because I have a lot of other things to do between work and writing. And uh, so they'll rotate between uh, Wells Night Patreon server, the Greenhouse SMP, and here at the World of Odium. And I may do an additional uh, video from one of my single play worlds with some new sh snapshot details. some more ladders and here we go we need a new place for a ladder up since the top layer is going to be um, smaller than the one we're building in we need to make sure we give enough room Time we've still got one more ring around to go. Alright, now we're putting in this third ring of stone around the outside. So this one, uh, we'll start by adding two to the outside on either side of the corners. This gives us kind of a W. So, if you kind of work from the corners first, it makes the whole rest of everything uh, go much simpler. And here's the fourth one. There. Okay. And now we can do the very, very outside corner which is going to be one more level up, or actually two levels up, so like so Okay, and you could remove that middle one if you wanted to, but it doesn't really matter since nobody can see it from the ground. And then we have the very, very end piece. And we need to lay an extra block in there to uh, uh, match it to and then remove it. And I notice as I'm standing up here for the first time that off in the distance there's a little teeny mesa biome. <coughs> Alright, so we just fill in the rest of the space in that third row at the same height as the rest of the roof. There we have our building. 
Okay, and now we're building the third floor and uh, full disclosure, I built this first. As you can see, there's the red ring at the top, which doesn't match what I'm laying in now. Uh, I built it uh, the first time and I built it one block smaller in all four directions than it is now. And that was too small, it didn't look right. So I had to come back and build it again. So I'm going to have to remove this red ring, expand it a little bit. And uh, so like the lower level, we have uh, supports uh, on the corners and in between made of acacia wood. and. Uh, then in between we'll fill that in with uh, white terracotta. Terracotta is one of my favorite building blocks to use in the game. See that mesa biome back there? All right, and we will see how this looks when it's all together. Okay, so we've got the interior part of the roof on, and now we're just laying out our hey, um, stone edging I like we did on the roof right uh, on the level below. This one is going to be slightly smaller, not go quite as far out. Cranberry chutney recipe. Still should work out fine. Sure. Four cups. All right, so here's the finished third floor of our warehouse, and we've even started on the fourth. The roof looks pretty good. Um, when we come back, we'll finish that fourth floor and add a tiny fifth floor to the top, way up there. And then we'll start on actually creating the build palette for the rest of our. Uh, Asian themed area here on the world of Odium. If you enjoyed this video, please press a like, think about subscribing, and as always, keep on Minecrafting.